Hi Pisces, hope you're doing well. Welcome to your daily reading. Let's see what's going on for you at the time you watch this video, what you need help, advice, insight with. Six of Cups, Page of Cups. Someone's in their head. This could be you, Page of Cups. And the Seven of Cups, I also saw the Seven of Cups. Someone could be in their head contemplate and the eight of cups oh all this emotion can i come back can i go back this could be someone who turned their back walk walked away detached from a situation and they have not been able to stop thinking about it. this is someone who said no and you were like okay sound and then they were they haven't been able to stop thinking about it. like what did i say no why did i say no I really want this actually. Oh, okay. So that could be a side message. Let's see what's going on for Pisces at the time you watch this video. And remember guys, if you want short to the point, more focused on the day to day type energy for a, a daily reading. I do that on my other channel, Advice to Think Twice. Some of you have gone over there already. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, and thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and your feedback, for subscribing, for your wonderful support, for your donations. I appreciate each and every single one of you. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on. What's going on for Pisces at the time they watch this reading? What is it about? What's going on? What they need to know? And stay tuned. Uh, stay tuned for my for the weekly reading that I'm going to be doing in a little while. Okay, bottom of the deck, the moon. Okay, contemplation, deep emotion, staying up at night, something stirring. Okay, things not being what they appear to be, confusion, feeling overwhelmed. I just get a lot of emotion off of that card. And it's interesting that, you know, I was guided to use the Gentle Heart Tarot for the reading. There's a, lo there's a very, em there's a lot of emotion, okay. Okay, let's keep going. Current situation, we have the sun. And for some of you, this is revelation, declaration, something that has been very deep and hidden is now coming to the surface, being made known, being made public. Some sort of secret could be revealed or something that has had to be confidential up to this point is now being revealed. It's a happy occasion. For others of you, I'm seeing it the other way around to where someone's putting up a front that they're happy and carefree and unattached and unbothered but in reality they're very much in their feelings about a situation they just don't want people to know okay king of pentacles in the current in the sorry in the challenge position taurus for go capricorn energy i get a prideful energy with this not gonna lie to you someone's really bothered about something like upset really upset really hurting but it's almost like I can't let people know that about me. I've got a reputation here. King of Pentacles with the sun. You know? i got a reputation. Okay. Ace of Swords in the foundation. Has to do with a, a conversation. A truth being spoken or expressed. Um, A decision being made. Five of Cups in the recent past. Yeah, listen. If this is someone that said no to you, rejected you, pushed you away, said something hurtful to you, um, and it kind of broke your heart and you turned away from this person, you said, okay, sound, never mind. They're really in their feelings about it. Like they feel guilt, they feel regret, they feel remorse. They're beating themselves up over it. Why the hell did I say that? Why the hell did I, you know, I should have done this. I should have done that. But they're not letting it show on the surface because they have their pride. They have their reputation. They have their image. 
if they somehow feel like if they became vulnerable and spoke the truth, because it's all about the truth and speaking the truth, and they think if, if they were vulnerable and spoke the truth, that somehow the image that they've been creating, something that they've built about themselves, would crumble. Right? So this is, you know, that tough guy and tough guy image and tough guy exterior. They're like, well, I can't all of a sudden start crying. People are going to think I'm a wimp. And I've spent all this time maybe making people believe that I'm this tough guy that has no feelings. That You know, that's something, that's a silly example, but so you understand the energy, right? I'm this proud person. I'm never wrong. I'm never wrong. I'm never wrong. That's I've spent months, years making people believe that about me. I'm never wrong. I wronged you, but I cannot turn around and admit it because then this image of me that I'm never wrong, that's going to go away. That's going to crumble. Okay. On the mind, we have justice. Someone is feeling really guilty because they want to do the right thing by you, but at the same time, they're very conflicted about what other people are going to think or how it's going to affect their reputation or their image. Okay, so what are they going to do? Let's see. We have the Four of Wands. There's that community aspect. Here's the Empress and the Six of Swords. For some of you, a Pisces, someone's going to visit you. Someone's going to come to your home to have this conversation in private, but they still want to have the conversation. I feel like they're trying to debate. How can I have this conversation with Pisces? How can I say what I need to say to Pisces without it ruining my reputation or without it ruining my image? At least I get it out, at least Pisces knows, and then we can figure it out from there. I don't know. Um, for others of you, someone's, if there's distance, whether that is because you're not talking to each other or there's physical distance, someone's planning to talk to you when they get home, okay? It's something to do with the home. Um, Yeah, I do. I feel like there's a visit, there's an arrival, there's a delivery, and that could be a message or a parcel or um, flowers or they're showing up. It's eating, it, it's eating them up alive. It's eating them up inside, this Ace of Swords. This thing they haven't expressed, the moon, Ace of Swords. It's eating them up. They're extremely in their feelings and it's not happy feelings. Because whatever this is with the Two of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Empress, this is either someone you viewed as a true friend. This is either someone um, where, you know, you see eye to eye, you're very, you're very compatible romantically. And I don't know if someone asked someone out and someone rejected them, or I don't know if someone expressed feeling and the other person said, sorry, I don't feel the same way. And that was complete BS. And they knew it was BS the second they came out of their mouth. But then it's like, well, I've already said it. I've already said it. I can't go back. This is that friend or family member that you butt heads with, and you went and said, can we just talk about it? Can we just be adults? They got triggered somehow, and they said something snide, or they said something mean, or they said, no, I don't want to talk, or I got nothing to say. And you were like, okay, that's okay then. And then they started beating themselves up over, over it because it's like, why did I say that? Why can't I just have a conversation? Why can't I just not be so damn proud all the time? This is someone who's really, really struggling over not saying what they really wanted to say or saying something that they really did not mean. And it led to a loss, a breakup, a separation, a splitting of ways. And now they look unbothered and unfazed, but they are guilt-ridden. And again, there's some sort of, sorry, I think I bumped my mic. There's some sort of delivery, arrival, or a plan. When I get home, I'm going to talk to Pisces because it needs to be an in-person conversation. Or I want to take Pisces away somewhere, or I want to ask Pisces to meet me somewhere. 
to have a conversation. This could also be someone getting someone um, getting a mother figure involved or some sort of figure of authority to where it's more of a mediator or negotiator or uh, someone who can help like counseling or something along those lines. Okay, um, they want to talk to you about that. Okay, let's get more cards out for Pisces. What is this for Pisces? It's very emotional though. Okay, sun, the sun in the current situation, eight of wands. This could be someone messaging you while they're on some sort of holiday or trip because with the six of swords and the sun and they're messaging you or they're calling you. And they could even be far away, like abroad, overseas. And you're going, why the hell are they messaging me when they're <laughs> so far away and on holiday or, you know, they're supposed to be having fun with friends, family, or they're supposed to have fun, be having fun with their significant other or something. I don't know what the hell they're messaging me for. Because they can't sleep. They can't enjoy themselves. But there's definitely some sort of conversation coming. For some of you, um, the initial messages are going to be just very uh, carefree, just very maybe a little jokesy or a little flirty or a little sending you a picture, sending you a funny thing. To see if, you know, see where you are. See if you're still hurt over what they said or didn't say. But someone really wants to talk. It's at this point, they need to talk about what it is that they've been hiding. It has to do with what they truly want in a situation. Or an apology that they just cannot get out. Okay, King of Pentacles in the challenge. Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag energy. I feel like you withdrew from this person, you turned your back, you said, okay, fine, never mind. You went back, you know, you went, you stood in your power, you stood in your confidence, you said, I wanted to talk to you, I wanted to reason with you, I wanted to level with you. But if you're not having it, you're not having it, and that's okay. No worries, I'm going to go over there, you go over there, everything's fine, don't worry about it. But it's almost like, it's a mirroring effect here where neither party is fully showing how it is that they're truly feeling. For you, they broke your heart. If they're the ones that said something to you or did not say something that you know to be true, and it's a case of, dude, I know it, you know it, why can't you just say it, right? They broke your heart that way. They know they broke your heart, and yet when they look at you, you're very composed, you're very much you know, in your power, still smiling, still confident, I get it, don't worry about it, right? You're not throwing fits. You're not crying. You're not making a scene, you're, you know? You're very dignified. And then the other way around, they're falling apart on the inside. They're beating themselves up over it. They're crying on the inside. But again, very, on the surface, they're very stoic. What's the state of swords? What's this truth? The emperor. Oh, my God. The emperor with the empress again. Um... This is, this is about, I'm the best choice and you know it. I don't know if you went and had a conversation with someone or you went and interviewed or applied for something or, or you were talking to someone. And the truth is, I'm it. The truth is, I'm the best option. The truth is, I'm the only option. The truth is, we feel the same way. The truth is, we want the same thing. The truth is, whatever, right? I feel like you... Or again, flip the roles if you have to. I'm reading it the way I'm seeing it, but you flip the roles if you have to. Where you took lead, you took charge, and you said, listen, we both know this is true. And they cowered away and said, no, that's not true. That's not true. And you said, okay, fine. If it, fine, I'm making it up then. I'm crazy. Fine. Then I'm just going to go somewhere else then. Or, you know, we both know you're lying. Can you just admit it? We can talk about it. We can work it out. And they're like, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. What do you mean? I'm not lying. How dare you say I'm lying? I don't lie. They were lying. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and then you're like, okay, well, I can't trust you. So I gave you an opportunity. I can't be around you if I can't trust you. So if this is my mistake and you truly weren't lying and it's my issue, then I need to go work on it. Either way, I can't be around you. 
you're very dignified in how you received this bad news, this rejection, this whatever this was, right? And then they started kicking themselves in the behind. Why the hell did I say that? Why did I say that? I just, they're gone. Now they're gone. And they're, they were so calm and rational and reasonable. They wanted to work with me with on this and through this. Why the hell can I just say, yeah, sorry, I lied. It's that kind of situation. Five of Cups in the recent past, the devil. Listen, I'm telling you, this is someone's ego. This is someone's pride. This is someone's attachment to their image or attachment to how other people think and feel about them um, they think they have to be a certain way they think they have to play a certain role they think they think and they're putting up a front and again it's someone's trigger you try to have a conversation with someone, an honest conversation, and instead of them leveling with you, they got triggered and they responded from that trigger. Do you see what I mean? The trigger responded. They, re they had a triggered reaction. They didn't have a response. They had a triggered reaction to you. And it made them realize that's not what I wanted to say. Why did I say that? Or I didn't mean that. Where did that come from? But by that point, they're thinking, well, it's too late. It's out. It's done. Pisces turned their back. Listen. Karma's karma. There's action and there's consequence. For what it was worth, this person's really going through it because I feel like it was a shock to the system. This could even be where you called someone out in a way... Like you try to talk to them about their trigger. You try to talk to them and ask questions. Why do you react that way? Where do you think that come from? I really feel like you tried to reason with this person. You tried to help this person. And they just got triggered and went with it. Instead of saying, I don't know. I don't know why I say the things I say. I don't know where that comes from. I don't know why I'm so afraid of this. Instead of just opening up and being vulnerable, they got triggered, their ego, their pride, and it just, it was just a bit of a mess of a situation. They weren't in control of themselves. And that's not to make excuses for them, but that's something that they're realizing. Okay, justice on the mind. Mm -hmm. Eight of cups. You turned your back, you walked away. Gracefully, very dignified, very elegant. They wanna talk to you about it now. They want to talk to you about walking away. Can you come back? Can we do this again? Because whatever this is, it feels, whether you said it or whether it is or whether it feels like, but it feels final. It feels like that was it. That was the boat. You just missed it. And it could be a situation where, again, someone's in a relationship that is not great, okay? There's something not quite right there with the devil. Um, and you try to talk to them about it as a friend, and they just snapped on you. And you're like, I can't be in your life and watch you be miserable in a relationship that's bad for you. It's unhealthy or it's toxic or it's whatever. But if that's what you choose for yourself, I wish you good luck. I just can't be around to watch you go through all the stuff that you're going through. I can't do that. Okay, and they just snapped on you. How very dare you and all that, right? And he said, listen, that's fine. My bad. I'm just going to go away then. If you think that's happy, if you think that's healthy, good for you. I respect your decision. I'm out. And it dawned on them. I'm losing the friend I had my whole life. I'm losing this friend that I had for 30, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Why? Where did that, how did that happen? Like what happened over someone I've been with for like a few months or a couple of years or do you know what I mean? And it's like, you know what, now that I think of it, other people have tried to tell me this. They're just unraveling right now, okay? Or someone who's in a relationship that everyone sees is not the best, maybe it's 
maybe it's not horrible but it's not the best or it's not what this person deserves or there's stuff going on behind the scenes um and you're trying to approach them and go, listen, I have feelings for you. I know you're in this relationship. But are you really happy there? Can we just have an honest conversation? And they just, nope, I'm in a relationship, not happening. And you're going, yeah, but I'm asking you, are you happy? Are you content? Do you, are you treated the way you deserve to be treated? Nope, not happening. I'm in a relationship. I'm not talking to you about this. And then you're like, okay, no worries. That's fine. I just wanted to check. And you left. Very dignified, right? And then they go, why the hell did I say that? Why did I say that? Because this is, there's a lot of emotion here. It could even be a situation where it's like, we have feelings for each other, let's be honest. And they go, no, I don't have feelings for you. I'm in a relationship, what are you talking about? But they do. Do you see what I mean? It's a whole mess. If it's someone at work, or someone in your family you're going listen do you need a hand here I can see you're struggling I'm happy to help how do you how dare you say I need help I can do it I can do it on my own I don't need anybody I don't need anything triggered response right true Trigger, triggered reaction you're like okay I just thought because this and that whatever and their reaction to you and your response where you're very calm and loving and dignified and elegant it almost like it shows them that they're a little bit they, they did too much right it wasn't warranted and they're like where the hell did that come from because they made it they may have really been hurtful and again you didn't throw a fit you didn't throw it back in their face you didn't fight them you didn't argue with them you just said okay i don't know what's going on with you you seem to be under a lot of pressure or something because i all, all i did was offer help but if this is what that does never mind sorry my bad i'm just gonna go over there you know but I can't talk to you again because everything you just said is very disrespectful and unwarranted and I don't deserve it and I don't accept it but all I did was offer help you know I don't hate you I don't I don't want to argue with you but I'm not going to talk to you again because that was unwarranted and I don't deserve it okay and it makes this person realize where the hell did that come from like what the hell was that what is it why am i so proud why am i so why can't i just accept help every now and you know what i mean is that they started unraveling oh boy okay so where are things going what's going on here four of wands the empress and the six of swords the hierophant the chariot and the queen of pentacles where someone's taking action here they really want to talk they want to fix something, they want to heal something, they want to bring the family back together, or they want to start some sort of union, some sort of partnership, heal it, okay, to go from the devil to the hierophant energy, or someone's making up their mind, and again, you see how we have the queen of pentacles and the empress, someone's making up their mind, It's almost like they viewed themselves as the king of pentacles and their perfect situation is the queen of pentacles. And they're like, that's it. This is it for me. You were telling them, you were an empress telling them, hey, you're actually an emperor and you're much better suited over here. And they're like, no, what do you mean? What are you talking about? How dare you? It's that kind of situation. Okay. And that could even be about a job. It doesn't always have to be love people. If all you hear is love in my readings, then that's on you. <laughs> that's not on me. Okay. <laughs> that's on you. That's what's on your mind. Okay. Don't, don't get it twisted. Let's keep it real here. Because I give you plenty of examples and I talk about different energies. If all you hear, hear is love, don't commit me. Ask yourself why. Because it could be that person scouting you going Pisces you would be great for this job it's a lot more money you could make with us there's a lot you know new level new heights you could reach with us and you're going what are you talking about no this is as far as I can go this is what I'm capable of this is all what I deserve based on my experience and qualifications you fought this person you pushed this person away when they were offering you something more because it triggered your insecurity and you didn't like that and that's when we go on the offensive and we don't go on the attack and then we go what are you talking about you're insane you're crazy <laughs> you know um, because that's how triggers happen. They make us crazy. And then when this person very calmly explains to you, very elegantly calm and dignified, explains to you, Pisces, 
I made you this offer because I looked at this and I saw that and I saw that and I saw that and I saw that. I'm not trying to trick you. I'm not trying to fool you. I'm not trying to deceive you. I'm not blowing smoke up your behind. This is why I made you that proposition. And you just, you just go, oh my God, I just snapped on this person. They got a valid reason. They've got, you know, why did I say that? Okay, what else is going to happen here? Page of Cups, Eight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. There's going to be an apology because someone can't sleep. Someone can't sleep. Someone's in their head. Someone can't function properly. And again, I get they want the family back together or they want peace in the family again if it's a family dynamic. Or they want to make something right by you, emotionally, maybe even financially. Yeah, I'm seeing family dynamics, friendship dynamics, work situations. And then there's a coming together. Okay, where is this going to go? What's the outcome to this? Five of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and the World. Acceptance and embracing something. There's going to be a. It's going to be uncomfortable with the Five of, of Wands here, uh, this conversation. I do see a coming together to discuss things, someone presenting their case, someone explaining themselves, but it's a very much um, more grounded energy, practical and realistic, and it's putting something behind with the world and deciding to start fresh. Now, whether that means accepting someone's apology and then, okay, let's rebuild a friendship, or it means accepting someone's offer that was previously rejected I don't know it will be different for everyone under the moon we have the knight of pentacles the nine of cups the lovers I'm telling you three of pentacles the wheel of fortune and the hangman with the ten of cups six of cups yeah this has been something long in the making okay long in the making someone's wish fulfillment here with the lovers they do see that you're the best choice they do see that you're the perfect choice they might have put them in some sort of third party triangle situation right because like well i'm in this thing and i think pisces is perfect for me that can't be right right again triggered someone's emotions uh, maybe they were in something for a long time and it's like i can't I can't just walk away. What are you talking about, right? I don't know, something. It triggered someone's beliefs with the Hierophant. It triggered someone's, it just triggered the hell out of somebody. This honest conversation triggered the hell out of somebody. And they had a triggered reaction, a knee-jerk response coming from the trigger, coming from the trauma, coming from the things that you're now making them question and it makes them uncomfortable. And your reaction, you being so calm and so graceful and so elegant, dignified, it showed them that they exaggerated. It showed them their exaggerated reaction. It showed them their um, illogical, almost, reaction. It's almost like, you know, sometimes, does this happen to you, Pisces? Please comment and let me know. Does this happen to you where you're in your head about something, Eight of Swords, and you kind of go around it in your head over and over again? It makes perfect sense. 100%. It makes sense. It's, that's the absolute truth. And then when you speak it out loud, you hear yourself, and instantly you go, why the hell am I saying that? That's just, that sounds stupid. That sounds ridiculous. That sounds wrong. Hold on. That doesn't sound right. But in your head, it makes perfect sense. But then as soon as it comes out your mouth, you're going, hold on, that's not that's just be it that's not does that happen to you how does that happen <laughs> do you know what i mean 
Because like you think something in your head and it makes perfect sense. And then when you hear yourself speak it out loud or you write it down, right? It's almost like your other senses can see it and they can go back to your brain and go, dude, you're, what are you talking about? That's not right, right? Tell me if that happens to you because it happens to me quite a lot. But that's the thing that I'm seeing here. Someone heard themselves, saw themselves, or heard themselves, and they themselves went, I don't think that's right. Now, where, where did I say that? Where does that come from? And it has to do with your reaction to, or your response, because you had a response where they had a reaction. Your response to their reaction was very calm, graceful, diplomatic, dignified. And you just said, okay, I'm taking my hands off it. Don't worry, I'm not pushing, it's okay. It's your decision and I respect your decision. It could also be where someone expected you to fight them, expected you to argue with them, expected to have to defend their decision. And you just went, I respect your decision. And all of a sudden they're like, well, that's not really my decision. I was hoping you'd fight. And then they're like, why was I hoping this person would fight me on my own decision? Well, maybe I was hoping they'd talk me out of it. Maybe I was hoping, you know what I mean? This, listen, this person got triggered. And I feel like they need to talk to you. At this point, it's not even a, a want or a wish or a desire. It's a need because they can't sleep, they can't eat, they can't enjoy anything they're doing because in their head, they're just going through, why the hell did I say that? I should have said that. When they said that, I should have done that. You know, why did I say that? That's just not true. Why couldn't I just apologize? Why couldn't I just, where the hell does that come from? What the hell's wrong with me? This is what this person's going through right now. It's like, I just got to talk to Pisces. I got to talk to Pisces. As soon as I get home, I'm talking to Pisces. Or I'm messaging Pisces. I don't care what I'm doing. I'm in the middle of something. I'm stopping. I'm, I got to message Pisces. I got to talk to them. I feel like it's important to them to speak to you in person. This person is, is someone who respects you very much. It's important to speak to you in person. And there's traveling involved. Exchanging gifts. Yeah, again, it's like the Page of Cups energy. They could bring, be bringing you a gift. Again, they could be sending you flowers. They could be sending you a gift uh, or sending you a message, something in a box. Um, that could be an inbox, right? Um, or they're bringing something to you when they see you. If they've been traveling, they're buying you a souvenir. They want to bring that to you when they get home. But it's exchanging gifts, so it's, they want to reciprocate something. Where in the past, they didn't value it, appreciate it, turned it away, rejected it, flipped out about it. They want to reciprocate now, or they're bringing you a peace offering. Okay, what else does Pisces need to know about this situation? Oh boy, Pisces. And if this is you, Pisces, listen, you can fix it. You can fix it. Just, just be honest. Just, and I know that's sometimes a lot easier said than done, especially with this kind of triggering situation. But you can fix it. All you gotta do is just be honest just take a deep breath i don't know do it in a way that you're comfortable it's not going to be comfortable 100 percent because you're very triggered right but you saw that you saw your own triggers and you're figuring out where they're coming from and you also saw that this is someone very genuine and they're just trying to be there for you okay and you can fix it just give them what they want just give them a little bit of honesty a little bit of vulnerability and a little bit of just open heart kind of conversation just apologize Whatever this is, if you have to write it down and somehow, somehow that makes it more comfortable, if you have to leave them a voicemail because that makes you more comfortable, if you have to call them because you can't face them, whatever it is, just make the effort and put yourself out there to reciprocate, okay? Look, we have orphaned and message in a bottle. They're, they really want to, they feel so bad. They feel so bad. They feel so guilty. They feel so bad. They feel alone. They feel like they've lost everything. They feel like they've, they've cost themselves a, an amazing friend, an amazing person, an amazing opportunity. They gotta talk about it. They can't sleep here and now. Yeah, they can't wait to talk to you about it. They got to talk. They can't. They, them running through what has happened 
is, is eating them up alive. They're like, I can't, I have to fix it. I have to fix it. There's an urgency. I have to see Pisces. I have to talk to Pisces. I can't let this, it's almost like I can't let this be permanent. I can't let this become permanent. I can still, I have to fix it while I still can. Okay, I don't know if there's a deadline, but there's a window of opportunity to where something can be done about the situation before it becomes the past and it can be touched. It's done. Someone's moving on. Someone started something else. Some, do you see what I mean? This is someone trying to keep this in the present so we can still talk about it, so we can still do something about it. Yeah, new life. Whatever you were talking to this person about, they want it. They really do. I feel like it took you having to push a little bit and they got triggered and everything happened for them to realize that no, actually they really want this and admit it to themselves. I feel like this is someone who couldn't admit certain things to themselves. You saw it and you tried to get them to admit it to themselves. Anything else? But whatever this is, it would it would be a big decision. It would be a life-changing decision, which is, I feel, a lot of why uh, this person was fighting it. Oh, soulmates, number 41. And soulmates are different people in our lives, okay? It's not just romantic. It's that true friend. It's that family member that is your ride or die. It's... If it's a, a situation or a place or about a job or about an opportunity, that's your path. That's something you're perfectly aligned with. Something you're made for. Someone you're made for, something you're made for. And I feel like someone had to admit it to themselves. Flexible, yeah. Someone had to admit it to themselves. Someone was very stubborn, very closed-minded, very much in a box. And again, it has to do with trauma and them kind of putting themselves in a box because that way they're safe. But even here, you know, you see, you see you're coming out of that box and that new life energy. You offer this person something that they didn't think was possible for themselves. They didn't want to believe was possible for themselves because that would mean they have to hope. And whenever they had hope, they got crushed. So don't tell me I need to have hope. Don't tell me things that make me happy. Don't tell me things that inspire me. Don't tell me things that make me feel hopeful and like I want to start something new in my life. Don't tell me that because that triggers me. That's the situation. And your response, being very gracious and grateful and elegant and diplomatic and going, okay, I respect that. If that's what you choose for yourself, I respect that. That's your choice. It made them question. It made them unravel. Why the hell? Where the hell? What the hell? How? Where? What? Why? You know? Because they saw themselves. They saw themselves. They heard themselves. And they went, I don't, where does that, that's not what I mean. I didn't mean to say that. Where does that come from? That doesn't sound true. But because you didn't, que you didn't question it, you didn't push, you didn't unravel, they did that for themselves. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? You didn't try to convince them of anything. They went, oh, wait a minute, why did I say that? Okay, so Pisces, okay. Let me know how I resonate with the reading, okay, if you do. Um, it's, huh, okay, yeah, it's a doozy. But um, this can be fixed, this can be resolved, this can be healed. Um, expect a message Again, it'll be something small to begin with because they want to see if you're upset. They want to see if you're still talking to them. They want to see, they don't know, they don't know what, what to do. And it's like, let me just see even if Pisces even wants to talk to me still. Um, <clears throat> and then deeper conversations or a plan to go meet up or, or them telling you, I really want to see you when I get home or something along those lines, okay? Um, and then there's a reciprocity here. There's a leveling there's a meeting in the middle there's a, a putting it all on the table it'll be uncomfortable but worth it 
okay? And it will lead to some big changes and starting a new life, a new chapter, okay, with the new life in the world. However that looks, okay? So Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. I really hope this resonates with you, and more importantly, I hope that it helps, okay? Let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Stay tuned for your week ahead reading. I'll see you in a bit. Bye for now.